Hello students, today we will create a new project in scratch and we will give the project name as ball and paddle game. Now in this project, we will delete the cat sprite and we will go to the stage. In the stage backdrops, in the backdrop one, we will fill it with any color, light color. and then click here. If it is not filling this stage, click on convert to bitmap and then click on the fill button. Now with the type tool, with this text tool, I will be typing a text. The T is the text tool. First change the fill color because otherwise it, the same shade cannot write over the green color. And from here you can change the style of writing here, supposing I write instructions in capital and click outside and then drag it. And to make it bigger, you can resize it. Now, again, I click outside. If you want, you can change the font color. And then I will write the first instruction use the mouse to move the paddle full stop second instruction the game now the score decreases decreases if the ball hits the ground full stop if it is not fitting in completely you can after this hits i press enter and this comes here. I can write one more instruction. The score increases if the ball touches the paddle. Full stop. Again, after ball, I press the enter key to make a new line. And one more. The game ends when the score is minus 5. Whatever instructions you want, you can give for your game. Then I will again paint a new backdrop here and fill it with a light shade. You can convert to bitmap and then fill. And here in the first backdrop in the costume, I will rename this as instructions. So this is my costume name for the backdrop. I click on the second backdrop and I will rename this as start page. And in the starting page here, I will zoom out by clicking this minus button. When I see the whole screen, now I have to make a ground. So I click on the rectangle tool and choose any dark color and I will make a rectangle box here. So this will be my ground here. If you want to resize, you can resize from here. This is my starting page and then I can again paint for the end page. I can choose the bucket tool, fill tool, and if you want, you can change the color to fill, convert to bitmap and fill. And with the type tool, change the font color first, and then click here and write game ends. Click outside, and then with these dots, you can resize. These are also called resizing handles. This is a game ends page. So at the backdrop costume here, you can give the name game ends. I will also choose one backdrop from Google, uh, from the here, from the library of backdrops. Supposingly, 
I will take underwater maybe not underwater mm, outdoors I can take any backdrop I take space backdrop okay I'll take this nebula space backdrop and then the name already is here now in the coding for the backdrop we are doing the stage coding right now you can see there are no motion commands because the stage cannot be moved so in the events we will start with when green flag clicked in the beginning which backdrop should be showing so from looks you have to choose switch backdrop to from this uh, arrow you choose instructions so now when i press the green flag the instruction page shows you can give a waiting time for a person to read these instructions maybe three seconds if you want you can give more seconds and then switch the backdrop to the starting page game now when i press the green flag for three seconds the instructions are shown and then the starting page comes now here we will choose a sprite of a ball and also I will choose a sprite of a paddle. So in the search I will write paddle and this is my paddle here. I will keep the paddle little down here and now we will do the coding for the paddle. For the paddle from events we will bring when green flag is clicked then First, the paddle should be hiding while the instructions are shown. Hide it and it will remain hiding for how many seconds? Three seconds because the instructions are shown for three seconds. And then it will show. After it is showing, the paddle should be moving with my mouse. Wherever my mouse is going, the paddle should go there. So from motion, we will bring the command set x the x position of the paddle should be changing on the stage the paddle has x coordinate and y coordinate the horizontal line that is right and left movement is shown by the x position so if i move the paddle here can you see the x position is changing if i move it up then the y position is also changing but I don't want to move up and down. Only the X position I will set. I will fix the X position to from sensing. I'll bring mouse X. Wherever my mouse, a mouse also has the X and Y coordinate. So wherever the mouse is X position is going, the paddle should go there. And this should happen forever, not only one time. So from control, I will drag forever loop and place the set x to mouse x inside this. Now when I press the green flag, the paddle is not showing in the beginning and after three seconds the paddle is showing and it is moving with my mouse. Wherever my mouse is moving, it is moving. So this is being controlled with the mouse x position. Now I stop this. Now I go to the coding for the ball. For the ball also from events, in the beginning, it is hiding for how many seconds? Yes, three seconds. Because the instructions are being shown at that time. After that, it shows itself. And then we'll show the movement of the ball. So we will use in the forever loop, the ball will be moving 10 steps forward. And if it touches the edge, it will bounce back. Let us run this. Now you can see the ball is moving in the direction. Here the direction of the ball by default is 90. And when it touches the edge, it goes in the direction minus 90. So it is just moving horizontally between the direction 90 and minus 90. So I'll stop this for now. And you can change the direction either from here for the ball give it any random direction or from motion you can change the direction in the beginning before the for loop 
just give it any other random direction for the ball now when i press the green flag the ball will start moving in 30 direction upwards and then it will touch the edge of the screen and bounce back thus it will keep on rolling over the whole screen so this is the movement of the ball I will stop it right now. This is part one. We'll continue with this project next class. Happy coding.